Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Inside Guns with your host, me, the Yankee Marshall. Today, I want to take some time and answer a gun-related question from a viewer. This viewer sent me an email saying, we all know what you say is the best Smith & Wesson revolver. In fact, you say it's the best gun ever. But what do I think is the worst Smith & Wesson revolver? Which one would I not recommend at all? Which one do I think you'd be better off buying something else? Well, I thought that was a pretty interesting question, so I thought I would answer that today. Now, before I do, though, I need to make a statement here. I actually need to kind of issue an apology to my supporters, the people that have been supporting my channel, especially the ones that uh, bought a mug yesterday, the Mavis Memorial Tactical Bullpup Bug. If you bought one of those yesterday, someone pointed out to me last night that the mug is being made in Poland. It's a collar changing mug and it's coming from Poland. They realized that when it said shipping was going to take seven to 10 days. So that being known now, I have changed the mugs. They are now being sourced by an American company. I try to buy American when we can. So I'm changing those. If you're one of the nine people that bought one of the 15 mugs that sold yesterday, well, you'll be getting a very limited edition from Poland. But if you go order one now, uh, on the website, you can go over there, you'll see there's two sizes now. There's a 12 ounce and a 15 ounce for someone who likes a little more coffee. Uh, and the design's a little different, but they are now black ceramic mugs from America. They're made in America. So a little bit different there. And actually I was able to price them a little lower because they're not color changing. Uh, and I think the shipping will actually be less on them. Some of the other ones were showing like eight to 12, $15 shipping, depending on where you were. Uh, East Coast or West Coast. These will be less shipping. I think they're like four something, four dollars and something. Maybe the big ones a little more, like six dollars, but cheaper on shipping. And now they're made in America. So if you want one of those, go over, get yourself one if you haven't got one already. If you got one of the ones already, well, then you got a limited edition. But uh, like I said, over at tympistolproject.com, you can order one of the two mugs. They are now American made. They will cost a little bit less as far as shipping is concerned. And even one of them is a little less price-wise overall for the mug. And you'll get them in two to three days once they ship instead of seven days to 10 days. So I just wanted to say, sorry about that. Uh, but they are now sourced in America. They're a little different. If you want one, go over and get one. Maybe get two. You never know. Keep one as a souvenir and one to actually use and one just to keep, you know, as a keepsake. I don't know why I said souvenir, but you know what I mean. And with that being said, I want to move on here and answer the actual question we were talking about. Well, everyone knows I say the best Smith & Wesson revolver is the 686 Plus or, you know, the 586 Plus, especially the 586 L Comp, you know, that line of guns. That's the best revolver Smith & Wesson makes. It's probably the best gun in the world, in my opinion. I've gone on record saying that. But now I want to answer what do I think is the worst revolver Smith & Wesson makes. And I actually had to think about this for about a half a second because I already knew what I thought was the worst one they made. And you don't ever hear me really talk about it because of that, because I don't recommend it. And it is the Smith & Wesson Bodyguard 38, specifically the one with no laser. If you get the one that has the built-in laser, I can see why you're getting it. It has the built-in laser. But the one with no built-in laser, I just don't see any reason to get this gun. I mean, it is a lightweight gun. It's a polymer, uh, steel, and uh, 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 carbon steel and aluminum mix. So you got carbon steel. I think you got stainless steel for the barrel, uh, aluminum for the body, and then polymer for the grip frame and the side panels. So it's a mixed, uh, what would you call that, materials gun, meant to be really lightweight. And it's kind of a cool gun, but there's some things I just don't like about it. Uh, I don't like the way they meld the polymer and the metal together. I don't like that weird little thumb release on top. It's kind of a cool idea. I like the premise of it, but I don't like the execution. It just looks cheap. And the gun is pretty cheap. It's only like $440 MSRP. So it's very inexpensive. If you wanted an inexpensive gun, I still say, yeah, get it if you want it. But the reason I say this is their worst gun is because there's other things you should get. I would not spend my money on this. I would not recommend anyone spend their money on this one, you know, the one with no laser. I would say get a Ruger LCR. The Ruger LCR is so much better. 
the technology, the way they build it, the way they integrate the metal and the uh, polymer pieces, so much better. Uh, the grip is so much better, more ergonomical, uh, and easier to find replacements for. So just, it's just a better gun. It's designed better, it's made better, it's actually lighter. It's like half an ounce, a little more than a half an ounce lighter than the uh, Smith & Wesson version, even though I think it's better built. I also think it's better looking. It doesn't have that weird little release and all this other stuff. So I think it's a better looking gun, better built gun, just better gun overall, way better, like totally different lead. Trigger is much, much better. So just a better gun overall, but it is more expensive. So it's like $250 more. Now, my, me personally, I would say if you want a small polymer and metal uh, combined revolver, spend the extra money, get the Ruger LCRX or the LCR preferably the LCRX. Do not get the, the Smith & Wesson. And here's the thing, if you don't want to spend $250 more, that still doesn't make this gun a good choice because spend a, just like $90 more and get uh, the Ruger, or excuse me, the Smith & Wesson 442. Now it's all aluminum and steel, there's no polymer integrated, but it's better gun too, got a better trigger, just better overall gun. Now it is a little heavier, but it's like, a couple percentages of an ounce heavier. It's not even a full ounce heavier, I don't think. So there's two options there that are far better guns than the Smith. And that's the only reason I say it's their worst gun is because there's two other guns, one of which is also a Smith, that are a better option. Uh, it's not a bad gun at all. That's the only reason I can say it's the worst one is because there are guns other people make that do it better, even though they're a little expensive. And there's guns from Smith & Wesson that are in the similar price range that are just better, like the 442. So that's why I don't recommend it. That's why you don't hear me talk about it. There's just better options out there. But in the end, if you don't want to spend any extra and you just really like that gun, maybe you like the way it looks, maybe you like the thumb thing, it's still a good gun. Because in the end, even the worst revolver from Smith & Wesson is still a pretty good gun. All right, everybody, that's it for me today. Before I leave, though, I want to remind everyone, just like I talked about the mugs earlier, we are still doing the fundraiser to make up the difference in the Pets and Vets program where we went negative $2,200 last uh, month. So if you can participate in that, please go over there. There's the mugs like I already talked about. And there's the uh, Glockade Man uh, uh, magnet right now if you want one of the magnets. I like to say magnets if you noticed my chat last night. Uh, and speaking of chats last night, I also want to remind everyone we do a chat every night, 6 p.m. Pacific time. Anyone can come over and be involved. You can either just stay out there in private and chitter chat in the live chat, you know, the typed chat, or you can even come on the chat if you've got something you want to say to me. So come on over. Like I said, it's at 6 p.m. every day, except for Mondays and Wednesdays when it's at 5 p.m. because I'm the opening act for Never Enough Ammo. But come on over, have a good time. We don't take ourselves too seriously. We talk about everything from guns to cars and motorcycles and uh, uh, everything. Some pretty weird stuff sometimes even. But like I said, don't judge us by the chat. That's a, that's a safe space, no judgment zone. So come on over if you want, have some fun, join in the conversation. And with that being said, I am out of here. I hope you enjoyed the show. I appreciate you coming and I hope you come back again tomorrow. Until then, I wanna remind everyone out there to Always carry and stay safe until I do see you again.